Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? I'm great. How about you, Rocio? How are you? I feel good, teacher. Thanks for asking. Excellent. What's what's the weather like today? Is it raining? No, it's cloudy, teacher, right no. now. Okay, so you can have fresh weather. Or is yes. it hot? No, fresh Excellent. weather. Excellent. Nice. That's something positive. <laughs> Very good. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine. Excellent. And you guys? How are you today? Uh huh. I can see. Let me see. Mm, I can see Santiago. Hello, Santiago. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm excellent. Very good. Thank you for asking. Excellent. And what about you? So far, so good. Thanks for asking. In the morning, guys, it was very fresh. Oh, but now in my city, it's, it's very hot. hot. <laughs> so the weather is changing all the time but anyway so it's tuesday everybody the last day of our level is closer are you ready for the last speaking evaluation what do you think yes yes teacher excellent and the other ones you yes. ready yes excellent that's the attitude everyone so um tomorrow it's wednesday tomorrow guys i will give you the instructions i will explain everything okay i will give you the details we are going to have some practice in order that for thursday you can be ready all right um just a reminder everybody platform you have to finish the platform send the homeworks um if you forgot to send, for example, the last homework, uh, send it. I will give you the chance to send it. Of course, um, it will be with one point less, but that's much better than zero, right? So if you forgot to send the homework, you can still do it. Just send it on WhatsApp's group and don't forget to add your full names. Um, what else? Be careful with the attendance. This is the last week. So please, everybody, don't miss any class and try to be connected the 90 minutes, okay? Um, don't affect, please. Be careful with your attendance. Remember that that is so one of the reasons why some people cannot continue in the program because the percentage in the attendance was very low. So, but today we have a lot of practice. We had to talk a lot, as always. Did you review the verbs in past and in past participle? Yes? Yes, it is. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, but, but I can memorize. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is difficult, everyone, but we are going to use it. Um, let's see. Let's think past everybody what is the past and the past participle of the verb cut 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 cut, cut, cut. 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 very good very good how about the verb uh, eat 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 past and past participle past a a a past participle eat them eat how about the verb freeze frozen Frozen. 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 Okay, frozen. past is? Frozen. 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 Okay, how about the verb understand? Understood. Understood. Okay, understood in past and in past participle? Or just the same. Mm. Understood. Understood. Are you sure? Understood. understood. <laughs> uh, some of you are like let me think teacher what is which one sounds better right now guys uh, that is the that's why i i told you that you need to review the verbs i don't want you to try to guess because remember that in the exam if you say ah i have understand no 
past and past participle is understood. Be careful. Um, another verb. Let me think about one difficult verb. Um, how about the verb steal? Stole, stolen. 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 Oh, very good. Stole, stolen. stolen. How about the verb? Mm -mm. No. No, no. No, no. No, no. 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 Okay. How about the verb give? Okay, given. Okay, given. 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 Very good. I can see Santiago remembers the verb. Excellent. Okay, excellent job. Everybody, review the verbs. I know that it's difficult because there are a lot of verbs. Believe me that everybody who has studied English, <laughs> we all of us have to memorize the verbs, okay? And, yes? I have a question. Go ahead. Yesterday, I was uh, reviewed the verbs, but I saw the verb can don't have past possible. Exactly. This is a topic, guys, that you are going to see, if I'm not run in the intermediate one or maybe an intermediate two. There are some verbs that they are modals. And remember that the modals are like special because they don't need an auxiliary and they are not like the simple verbs. For example, in the case of can, what is the past form of can? Cool. Mm. Good. Cool. However, in the past participle form, can, doesn't have past participle. So what does it mean? I cannot say I have could. This sentence is not possible. So when you are in the intermediate levels, you will learn how to use could or how you can use different models in the present perfect. Okay, because the structure is a little bit different. And this happens, guys, with all of the models. For example, if you have should, what is the past form of should? We don't have it. What is the past form of will? Do we have past form for will? No. No. No, no really, right? The only ones that we can say that we have a past form is may, because when we are talking in past, what model can we use instead of may? We can use mm. might. But normally, guys, it, the models, they don't have a past form and they don't have a past participle form. If you want to use them in the present perfect form, the structure is different. But then relax, okay? When you stay in intermediate level, you will enjoy that topic, okay? So you ready for the intermediate level? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes. Excellent, very good. Guys, only this week and you finish pre-intermediate and you will go to the intermediate level. Um, I wish I could share with you the platform so you can see the topics for the intermediate level, but I don't have the topics for the intermediate one. I'm sorry. But let me tell you that the topics for the intermediate guys is are very nice. The idea of the intermediate level is that you learn a lot of vocabulary. So if you feel like, ah, oh, I don't have vocabulary, don't worry. In the intermediate level, you will learn vocabulary because the purpose for the intermediate level is vocabulary and talk, all right? So that is the main purpose in the intermediate level. Of course, you will study grammar, but it's more like a review. Right. For example, you can see simple past, but you will talk in a specific context with the specific vocabulary. So it will be a little bit more interesting. So be ready for it. Are you ready? Yes. 
<laughs> yes, so cool. I can see some people like, I'm not sure, teacher. Don't be afraid, guys. Come on. I think, honestly, the most difficult levels, guys, are the first one. Okay? Basic and pre-intermediate, in my opinion, are the most difficult levels. Because it's like a lot of information. Yes or no? Do we have yes. a lot of information? Yes. 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 A lot of topics, a lot of verbs, a lot of grammar tenses. So in my opinion, the first levels are the more difficult. But now, guys, you already have the knowledge. You already have the base. So now when you go to intermediate, as I said, what you have to learn is vocabulary and talk talk and talk so but relax we have still one week here in our beautiful pre-intermediate three level what was the topic that we studied yesterday let's see if you remember scenes mm -hmm. or mm. <laughs> okay i'm not going to send you to the next level of everyone uh-huh how, how, how have you changed change? <laughs> I like it. I like it. So we were talking about changes, right? So have you changed everybody in the last five years? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. A lot. A lot. I mean, come on. There are different aspects in our lives that has been different. So everybody, today is August 22nd. Let's review a little bit. Yesterday, as you mentioned, we were talking about little things or all the details that have changed in our lives in the last five years. I will ask your classmates and remember guys, the idea of this um, activity is to ask follow up questions. The idea is to continue with the conversation. So imagine that your classmate said, um, I've um, stopped doing exercise ah uh, and you are like oh okay imagine will the conversation continue yes or no 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 so we need to continue asking questions like hey and what happens why did you stop do do you practice any other sports do you feel healthy have you ever considered to return things like that and the idea guys is to ask follow up questions in different grammar tenses present past future present perfect you have to be able to ask in different grammar tenses so let me interview pay attention to your classmates because you have to continue with the conversations let's see i'm going to ask someone that is not smiling uh, Javier, why are you so serious? Hello, Javier. Hello, folks. How are you? Chill. And you? I'm great. Let me ask you, um, how your life has uh, changed in the last five years? Well, interesting question. In my case, uh, uh, I was a very change in my life. For example, um, uh, two years ago, uh, I need to move another city, for example. Ah, okay. So everybody, ask him follow-up questions. So he said that he has moved to another city. Questions? If you don't ask questions, you don't go to the next level. So, so what Javier, <laughs> ah, oh my <laughs> goodness, guys! <laughs> Only under pressure you ask. Okay, I was listening, Rebecca, and then Vilma. Go ahead. What was the reason for to move? Okay, I think so. The principal reason for to necessary to move another city is for a convenience for me and my family. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Vilma? Teacher Rebecca, 
Yeah, I stole my question. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> Tell me, it's about who? It's about the traffic. Uh, can you ask the question again? It's Not about really. the traffic that you move on. Not really, my friend, because I live in San Salvador. It's very, very terrible. <laughs> Definitely. All right, thanks. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. do you like your new city? Can you repeat? Do you like your new city? Oh, yes. Uh, I like because in this city has different options to do by, uh, for, for example, uh, Unicentral, uh, Unicentral Tavista, um, Plaza Mundo, has different options. I like this city. Okay, one more question. You are asking already in simple present. I want to listen different questions. Future, past, or present perfect? Asking. Hey, Javier, I don't remember uh, what city, but my question is, which, uh, which city Which city do you move? And nowadays, Ilopango city. Okay. okay. Future questions, can you ask him in future? Oh, you don't remember future. Oh my gosh. Will you change the city in the future? Why not? In a future, uh, I would like, will live in, for example, in United States. Why not? That yeah, why not? Sounds good. <laughs> okay, questions in simple past. Ask him question. Simple past. Me, Marcela. Go ahead. Tell me, uh, what did you do you and the last vacation? Hmm. Okay, that's a good question. In simple past. But is that question related to the information that Javier provided? No. Ah, That's not my question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But... So be careful. Remember, guys, the purpose, right? The follow up questions. Follow up questions means questions related to the information that your classmate provides. Okay. So in this case, you can. Try to include a question. He's talking about the new city. He's talking about when he moved. So try to connect the questions, okay? Be careful with that. Um. Okay, let's see. Javier, pick someone. Pick one of your classmates. A victim. <laughs> <laughs> the next victim. Mm, let me see. Um... Esmeralda. Thank you. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. Tell me, have you changed in the last five years? Yes, I have been married for three years. All right. Everybody, yeah. ask her questions. Uh, do you have a kid? Um, I have been, um, yes, I don't know, a problem. I'm sorry? I, I am pregnant. Ah, yes, that's a good one. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Another question? And yeah, congratulations. Look at this. Thanks. Uh, Esmeralda, where did you get married? Um, the place was uh, in San Salvador, in a hotel, but I don't remember the name. But it for uh, um, Cuscatlan Stadium. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. It's, it's uh, the next, but 
I don't remember the, the hotel. Okay, very good. Next question. Did you move to another city? No, I live. Uh, I have been to um, live in the same place or city for um, 30 years. Sounds good, sounds good. But when I was a child, I live in Usuluta, Berlin Usuluta. Ah, mm -hmm. all right, that sounds interesting. Another question? Questions, questions. Come on, guys. Would you like to live in another country? Yes, I would like to live in, I don't know, um, USA, maybe, or um, another country. Uh, where is the pronunciation? Suiza, teacher? I'm sorry? Suiza? How do you pronounce? All right. If you want to say Suiza, guys, how can I swear it? Switzerland. 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 Okay. Switzerland. Yes. Yes. Some people say only Swiss, but remember that Swiss is like the nationality, but the name of the country is Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. All right, nice, good questions, good answers. What we are doing right now, guys, is just an example how the speaking evaluation will be, all right? So let's continue practicing, let's continue practicing. Now, um, do you think that it's easy, guys, to ask follow-up questions? Yes, no? Yes, it's pretty oh. easy, but in my mind, sometimes it's blocked. I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> you don't know what to ask. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, sometimes that happens, especially guys, if you feel nervous. But my recommendation is always pay attention to your classmates. If you listen that your classmates say something about family, okay, let's ask about family. If you listen to your classmates said, I don't know, restaurant, okay, let's ask questions about the restaurants, okay? That is the key. But anyway, let's stop thinking about the uh, follow-up questions. I want to start today's class, everybody, with a listening practice. Okay, we already speak a little bit. Let's try to listen to something. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Very good. Okay, everybody, we are going to listen to an audio, okay? In this audio, we are going to listen to a dialogue, okay? And this dialogue is about changes. Some people are going to be talking about how their life has changed. And you just have to decide if the sentences that are here are true or false. If it is true, you just have to write the letter T. If you think, no, I think that is false, okay, then write the letter F. Simple as that. You can answer in your notebooks and then we're going to verify if the answers are correct or not. To avoid interferences, everybody, keep the microphones off. If you cannot answer one of the sentences, leave the space, continue with the next one. And at the end, I'm going to play the audio again. All right, let me see, microphones off, everybody. Pay a lot of attention, here we go. Hi, Alice, it's good to see you again. I haven't seen you for ages. How have you been? Not too bad. I see you've changed. Yes, I've been on vacation. I see you've changed too. Your hair is longer than before. Yes, I haven't cut it since last year. How's work? Well, I quit my job. Really? When did that happen? Last month. And have you found a new job yet? Yes, I've started working as a tour guide. 
That's great. Do you enjoy your work? Oh yes, I've made lots of friends at work. And what about you? Are you still working for the same company? Yes, I haven't changed my job. I'm still a graphic designer and still working for the same company. But I've traveled a bit. Where have you been? Well, I visited Russia last year. It was really interesting. I can speak a little Russian now. Wow. Could you listen to the audio, everybody? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Listen. I'm going to play the audio one more time so you can verify your answers, and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay. Microphones off, everybody. Please. All right. Let's pay attention. One more time. Here we go. Hi, Alice. It's good to see you again. I haven't seen you for ages. How have you been? Not too bad. I see you've changed. Yes, I've been on vacation. I see you've changed too. Your hair is longer than before. Yes, I haven't cut it since last year. How's work? Well, I quit my job. Really? When did that happen? Last month. And have you found a new job yet? Yes, I've started working as a tour guide. That's great. Do you enjoy your work? Oh yes, I've made lots of friends at work. And what about you? Are you still working for the same company? Yes, I haven't changed my job. I'm still a graphic designer and still working for the same company. But I've traveled a bit. Where have you been? Well, I visited Russia last year. It was really interesting. I can speak a little Russian now. Wow. All right. Now, did you listen, guys, that these conversations, um, they were talking about how they have changed. Did they ask each other follow-up questions? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So that's the idea of the conversations, everyone. You ask, the other person answers, and then there is another question and you can continue talking, okay? Now, let's see if you paid attention. In the first one, Alice looks different than before. What do you think? True. 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 You sure? Yes. 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 Okay. Totally true. Very good job. Okay, let me ask individually. Um, let's Du, 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 du. Mario, tell me, Mario, the number two. Mark's hair is shorter than before. True or false? Yes, it's true. Do you agree, everybody? No, no. it's false. Oh, it's false. It's false. It's longer than before. Mark's yeah. hair is longer. Mark's hair is longer. Ah. longer. He says that he hasn't cut his hair since mm -hmm. last year, I guess. So it's totally false. Um, let's see. Let me ask you. Leonel, number three. Leonel, can you read it, please? Alice with her love her job last month. Okay. It's true. It's true. You, okay, he says that it's true. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. 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 Totally, right? Very good. Um, let me pick someone else. Da -da 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 -da. Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. What about the number four? Can you read it, please? Alice works as a tour guide. 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 Uh huh. Is true. Okay, she said that is true. Guys, do you agree? Yes. 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 Okay, pretty good. Okay, uh, Rebecca is there. Can you read the number five, please? Okay. Alice does enjoy her job. The answer is false. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes. 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 Totally, pretty good job. Karen Vasquez, number six, please. Hello. 
has different a different job now mm -hmm. is false. False. Yeah. Okay, everybody. It's yes. true. It's true. It's no. true. Yeah, it's true. No, no, it's false. No, no, it's false. Yes or no? No, he he said they had uh, the same work. Actually, in this no. case, guys, the correct answer is false. He doesn't have a different job. He mentioned that is the same job, right? So he hasn't changed that. And the last one, Mark speaks a little Russian. Is that true or false? It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Totally. Uh huh. How many correct answers did you have, everyone? Six to five. seven. Six. Oh. Five. Six of seven. Five of seven. Okay. So far, so good. Easy or difficult, the audio? Easy. So Easy? so. So so. Ah, you are improving everyone. Very good job. So if you paid attention to the audio, guys, what I wanted to pay attention here is that they are asking follow-up questions. And the questions can be in different grammar tenses. Future, present, past, present perfect, any kind of grammar tense, all right? Now, let's start with the topics that we have to practice today. And as always, I want you guys to talk a lot. In this moment, I'm going to pick some people and you have to talk for how much? Look at this. One minute. One minute. One minute is pretty short. All right. So don't worry. It's only one minute. And the questions are pretty easy. So do I have a volunteer or should I pick someone? Uh huh. Volunteer, please. Only one who wants to go to the intermediate level. Oh my goodness. Nobody wants to go to the intermediate level? Me. Who say me? Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay. Rebecca, you have to talk for one minute. The question is. What are your hobbies? A very easy question. So <laughs> let me set the timer. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay, sorry, I don't find the timer. I got it. Okay, what are your hobbies, Rebecca? Talk for one minute, go. Okay, my hobbies are, for example, I like to cook different uh, food and I like to watch series on Netflix. And also I, I like create uh, videos for you too. And also, and nowadays, I like to draw because I I I be study uh, draw, and also uh, I like to visit my family. I think it's a hobby because uh, after the before the COVID, I don't do that. And I like to... Time's up. <laughs> okay. Easy or difficult, Rebecca, to talk for one minute? Oh, a little difficult because <laughs> I don't have idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you were doing great. In this case, guys, the question is in present, in past, in future. What is the grammar tense? In present. In present. It's in simple present. Imagine, guys, that have you ever uh, been in an interview for a job? Yes. 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 Did, they, did they ask you this question? Yes. 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 It's like a very typical question when you go to an interview. So imagine if you are in an interview in English, 
Do you think that you will be able to answer this question? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Very good. Now, will you be able to talk for one minute answering this question? No. No? Why not? You have to say yes, yes guys. Remember? Yes. You have to give details. Now, Rebecca, pick someone, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about a victim. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I choose um, only one, please. <laughs> the boy, Marvin. Uh, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Hello, teacher. Okay, Marvin, it's your turn. Okay. What is what is your dream job? Mm. Okay. Go. Uh, I don't know. My my dream job probably uh, is is work in my own business probably about I don't know a store uh, or about a certain car or different or different things. Uh, I, in the moment uh, I study marketing international. Uh, international international marketing uh, and I learned different things for uh, create a, a business and I think I can create my my own business about this and um, and also uh, I I would like to job in how you say aduanas or oh, aduanas and continue continue and also uh, I I have a uh, study for for different things about that in my university. <laughs> okay. Now, this is something that can happen, guys. What happens if suddenly we are talking and we don't find the words and we don't know the vocabulary? So what do you think? What do we need to do? Practice. Yes, or search for a synonym. In this case, guys, how can I say aduana? Do you know that? Castle, I think. Yeah. That's the one. And you can say just customs or even you can say customs office if you want to be more specific. So, easy or difficult, Marvin? Difficult for the idea. I know. Also, guys, that is something that you have to keep in mind. Organize your ideas. That's the reason why we are doing this practice. Okay? Marvin, you have to pick the next one. Who's next? Okay, uh, Walter. Ernesto. All right. Hello, Walter. Walter, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Okay, Walter, what have you done these days? Fresh and perfect. Are you ready? What? What have you done these days? Okay. Go ahead. I had I had done a lot of things this day. Uh, for example, I had a uh, new I had cut my hair my hair my hair um oh shit answer I couldn't I couldn't answer I oh don't worry I had a blog I had a blog I relax you can invent invent the answer there's no problem at all well I had visited visited my mom and her house. I had talked with her a lot. I had eaten a seafood. I had gone to the beach and swim and swam. I enjoyed I had enjoyed a lot with my children and enjoyed I had worked a lot. A lot. 
I feel like I'm a slave for my work. <laughs> Time's uh, up. Um, okay. Okay. It's all right. Just be careful with the vocabulary <laughs> because remember that the classes has been recorded. Now, if in this case, guys, here in the class, sometimes we can forget the ideas. But that's always, I said, you can invent. Imagine that we are in the speaking evaluation and some of your classmates ask questions that you don't remember the answer, you don't know how to answer, invent. There is no problem at all. Now, Walter, pick someone, please. Me, teacher. Who say me? Me, Iris. Iris, okay, Iris. What did you do last weekend? You ready? Uh, okay, the last weekend I went to the bank. I paid my bills and I visited my friend in Soyapango Plaza Mundo. And on Sunday I celebrated my birthday. And it was so amazing because I could spend a lot of time with my family. I bought a pair of shoes, a shirt, and I ate cake. I called up my mom because she lives in Spain, and I love my mom. I went to the supermarket and I bought anything for my house. I <clears throat> went to the cinema, cinema with my family, I watching a lot of uh, a lot of series on Netflix in my house. I ate popcorn with my daughter, and I helped my daughter helped to my daughter to do her homeworks. And I went to the church and I Lisa. called on my father. All right, she gave a lot of sentences. Is it difficult, Iris? Is <laughs> Very good. If you see, guys, we have questions in different grammar tenses. We have questions in present. We have questions in present perfect. We have questions in past. So what do you think? What is the topic that we are going to review today? Mixed tenses. Ah, sounds good. And yes, that is what we are going to do. We are going to review, guys, different grammar tenses. We are going to divide this topic, <clears throat> I'm sorry, in two parts. So today we are going to review the first part and tomorrow the second. So today in the first review part, we are going to review three grammar tenses. The first grammar tense that we are going to review is the simple present. Do you remember the structure of the simple present? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, this is for basic, right? Do you remember where you were in the basic levels and we were practicing simple present? The first things that we need to remember when we are talking about the simple present is when do we use simple present? I need a volunteer, please, for reading this uh, short paragraph. Me. Yes, we use is to. Sorry, we use it to talk about the routines, facts, and fact truths. Truth. Truth. All right. So that is a characteristic, everybody, of the simple present. We use simple present to talk about routines. So facts, I mean, things that are true. Okay. For example, the weather. Do you think that the weather is a fact? I mean, is something that is true? Yes or no? Yes. 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 We can talk. We can talk about the weather using simple present. Yes. What is the characteristic of the simple present, guys? What is something that we need to be careful about it? With the third person. Ah, do you remember the third person? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> so, what is the thing? Yes. If we are in simple present, remember, we need to add the letter S to the verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. If the sentence is in negative, what are the auxiliaries that we need to use in simple present? Yes. 
Don't in negative doesn't for third person in negative. Do you remember how do we ask questions? Yes. Can you ask a question, everybody, in simple present, please? Does he work today? Do you have pets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does she work there? Okay. So imagine that I ask you guys, do you work today? If the answer is yes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If the answer is no? No, no I don't. I I don't. don't. No. Easy, right? So is it clear, the present symbol? Yes. Yes? Are you yes. sure? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Now, another grammar tense that we are going to review is the past simple. So, volunteer for reading, what is the characteristic of the past simple? It makes it. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, we use it to talk about an action or event that happened in the past. Thank you. So, what is the difference between the persons in the past? Easy. Past simple is an action or an event that happened in the past. Is it over that activity? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Can you tell me, guys, some of the most common times expressions that we can use in simple past? Yesterday, mm -hmm. last week. Yeah. Last, last year. Yes. Mm, last vacation. Yes. Last, last month. Ago. Three months ago. Uh -huh. Very good. So look, when we are talking about past simple, we can use times expressions with a goal. For example, a one day ago, one hour ago, two years ago. We can use times expressions with last, like last week, last year, last vacation. Or we can use times expressions with yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday night, yesterday morning. Good. Now, at the difference with the present simple, in the simple past, what is the auxiliary that I need? Did. Use did. Didn't, right? In, di in this case, if it is negative, didn't. Can I use a difference auxiliary if it is in third person? No. 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 It's the same. Do I need to add the letter S if it is third person? Yes. No. no. Yes or no? No. no? no. Simple pass is pretty simple. So what is the most difficult thing here in the simple pass? Pronunciation. The verb in pass. The verb. I do need to memorize the verbs in past. So everybody, what do you think? Is it clear the simple pass? Yeah. Yes? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay. The last grammar tense that we are going to review today is? Present perfect. 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 Do you remember the present perfect, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Some of you are like, oh, no. <laughs> Let's practice. What is the function? What is the characteristic of the present perfect? To describe to an action. Uh huh. Perform the period that has hasn't finished yet. What is the difference, guys, between the present perfect and the simple past? But the action in the past uh, has a uh, has happening in right now. Okay. The past is already finished, but uh, okay. present perfect is continue. That is the only difference, right? If you see in the simple past, as we mentioned, look, actions or events that happened in the past, right. it's over. But in the present perfect, remember everyone, 
here we are talking about some events, some actions that happened or started in the past, but they has not finished yet. Or they still have a connection with the present. Now, what is the auxiliary that I need in the present perfect? Have has. Very good. And what happens to the verbs? Is in past participle. Nice, excellent. And do you remember, guys, some of the um, time expressions that we can use in the present perfect? Yes. Yes. This year, this month, this week, this week. If you like today, okay, hold on. I was listening to your classmate saying since for this week, these days, this weekend. Can I use recently, for example? Yes. 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 How about yes. Yes. yet? Yes. Okay, can I use already? Yes. yes. Can yeah. I use two days ago? No. No. Yes or no? No. No. Two years ago. But how about if I add the word since, since two days ago? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. So listen to me, guys. Before you go to the intermediate level, the idea is that you already know these grammar tenses. So analyze yourself and think. Mm. Can I speak in simple present? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. yes. Okay. Can I have a conversation in simple past? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ah, I only two people listen that I that the yes. two people say yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Of course. Now you have to ask. Okay, now can I speak in present perfect? Can I ask and answer questions in present perfect? Yes. Yes. I like that. Okay, yes, right? That is the purpose. At this point, guys, at this level, you have to be ready with three grammar tenses. Now, let's have a practice to see if it is true. I'm going to share some sentences and you have to create a sentences in different grammar tenses. Simple past, present, or the present perfect. Um, let me open up the exercise. And I'm going to share the example. The verb is fly. Imagine, guys, that I want to create a sentence in simple present. Hmm, look at the picture. What will be the sentence here? The birds fly today. Okay, sounds good. The birds fly today. Um, if you see, we can see the ocean, so you can see, ah, the birds fly over the waters, uh, the, fly, uh, the birds fly every day. Very good. Now, if I want to change this sentence into simple past, what is the past form? The birds fly. Fly. Well, no, I don't know. Well, okay, listen, listen. I'm listening like three different ways to say fly in past. Guys, the verbs, please <laughs> memorize the verbs. The verbs flew, okay? Flew over the water. Okay. Um, I want to say the same sentence, but now I want to say it in the present perfect. How the bears flow to the weather. Okay, can I say the birds flown over the water? The birds have. have. Okay, have, have or has? The birds have. 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 Ah, ah, over okay. in the okay. 
Listen, have everybody. Flown. The birds have flown. Remember that in this case, birds is in singular or plural? It's plural. 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 That's why we say have. All right. That's the idea. That's what we are going to do. I will be picking some people and let's have the practice. Let me see. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Alba, Alba Martinez. Hello, Alba. Hello. Okay, Alba, give me a verb. The ones that you prefer. Um, be, be, uh, let me see. Build. Build. Okay. So, simple present. What will be the sentence, Alba? Only Alba, please. I sorry. In which in which sentence? Which sentence? Simple present. Simple present. He he built a a I am. Uh, Invent. Um, uh, how do you say edifice? I don't remember. Building. A building. I'm sorry. He he builds a building. He builds a building. That sounds like a good sentence. I like it. All right. In this game, appears like the man builds a house, but build a building sounds good too. Now, Alba, tell me the same sentence in simple past. Let's take the one that is here. The man built a house. Simple past, please. The man was building a house. No. Simple. Wow. Simple the past. past. Simple past. Yes, sir. Uh, the man. Um, what is the past the... of build? Build with ED. Build. Are you sure? Uh, I don't remember, teacher. Okay, everybody, what is the past form of build? Build. 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 T. Look, Alba, we just changed the letter. T. T. The man built a house. Okay, Alba, present perfect. The man has built a house. Has or have? Has. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Remember, if I say man, man is in singular or plural? Plural. 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 Remember, everyone, the singular man is... is singular. Man. Man. If you say man, so you say has. But if you say man, that have. is plural, we have. say have. have. Very good. Thank you, Alba. Now, Alba, pick one of your classmates, please. Vilma. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? I cannot listen. Vilma. Oh, Vilma, Adriana. Okay, Vilma. Now, give, give me a verb. Um, cook. What? Cook. Oh, cook. cook. Okay. Yes. Let's see the sentence. Simple present. Yes. Guys, okay. I'm listening to some background. Only Vilma can have the microphones off. The rest, please keep it off. Go ahead. Uh, simple person. I cooked lasagna yesterday. Simple present. Let's start with the simple present. Yesterday is for past. I'm confused right now about simple present. I don't remember if you, I had to say the sentence in this moment. In this or moment, not. create a sentence in simple present. So for example, look at the picture. What do they do? They are cooking together. Okay. 
But they are cooking. That is present continuous. Tell me the verb in simple present. They. They. Not teacher. I don't know how to. It's think, the same. Think about routines. What is your daily routine? I wake up in the morning. I take a shower. I. I cook the breakfast. Ah, sounds good. So in this case, instead of I, we can say they. They. Cook the breakfast. The breakfast. Sounds good. So. They cook the breakfast, or imagine in this case, we don't know, right? Maybe they cook the dinner, uh, they cook the lunch, okay? That is simple present. Remember everyone, simple present, daily routine, okay? Now, Vilma, take this sentence, the couple cooks together, and change the sentence into simple past. Simple pass. Um, the the couple, the couple was the couple were cooking together. Do no. I have the verb to be here? No. Mm -mm. I don't have the verb to be, so I don't need it. I just need to change the verb in past. What is the past form of cook? The couple cook together the food. That's the one. Very easy. Remember everybody, simple past. Just change the verb. Now, Vilma, change the same sentence, but now in the present perfect. The present perfect. And the couple had cooked together. Okay, the couple have the or couple. the couple has? Have. Mm. If I say couple, everybody, the word couple is in singular or in plural? It's in singular. 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 It's in singular. So that's why I'm going to say the couple has, has cooked, cooked together. Yeah. All right? If I say couples, yes, in that know. case, I will say have. have. Exactly. Okay, everybody. Easy or difficult okay. to talk in the three um, different grammar tenses, present, past, and present perfect? Easy. Easy? Easy. Yeah. A little bit confused? Yeah. I know. I know. Listen. The idea why I'm doing this exercise, guys, is to practice the different grammar tenses, all right? You have to be able to create sentences in simple present, in simple past, in the present perfect. You need to remember and memorize the structure, okay? In this case, for example, if I go back to the simple past, um, some of your classmates said and can see, ah, the couple was cooking. But if I say was cooking, is that simple past? Yes or no? No, no. No, simple really. Past. In yeah. this case, this is past continuous. continuous. All right. So we have time for one more person. So Vilma, pick someone else, please. Okay. Alba Marisol. Alba Marisol, are you there? Yes. Okay, Alba, you had to pick one verb. Which one? Uh huh. Alba? Clean. Clean. Okay. So, what is the sentence in the simple present? The man clean the floor. The man clean the floor. Are you sure? No. Is in singular or plural? The man cleans. Ah, that's the one. 
That is the characteristic of the simple present, everybody. Third person, let's add the letter S. Albert, change the sentence in simple past. The man cleaned the floor. Nice job, cleaned. Very good. Now, in present perfect, please. The man has cleaned the floor. Excellent, very good job, that's the one. So everybody, that's the idea. We need to be able to change the sentences in different grammar tenses. Easy or difficult? What do you think? It's easy in this play, in, in that play. <laughs> okay, so everybody, do you dominate present simple, present perfect and simple past? No. No, <laughs> ah, come on. No, it's it, it's a little confused, but um, I need to practice because I confuse the present perfect, pre uh, simple present. I mean, I need practice more. Just imagine this. I know, guys, that is difficult, but think about it. If I ask you a question, could you identify that the in which grammar tense the question is? Yes. 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 For example, yeah. imagine that I say, um, do you take a shower every day? Yes. yes. What is the grammar I tense? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. In which grammar tense do I need to answer? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. That's what I need, okay? That when you listen to the question, you can identify the grammar tense. And you can answer the question in the grammar in the correct grammar tense. That's what I need. Got it? Yes. But as Tanya said, we need to practice. And guys, believe me, this is something that we will continue practicing forever and ever. <laughs> okay? Because grammar is everywhere. We are talking in different grammar tenses. My suggestions, as I always said, review the topics, but memorize the verbs. Got it? Yes? yes. yes now, sure. ready for an exam? No. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. 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 Let's do something. Let's do something. Let's have a practice that is a grammar practice. And then we are going to have the speaking practice, okay? Now, this is very simple. I have, guys, some questions. And you just have to decide how can we complete the sentences or in which grammar tense do we need to complete the sentences. For example, look at the number one. I have a question. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Susan, these days. So what do you think, guys? Can I say, hmm, do you often see Susan these days? Or did you see uh, did you often see Susan these days? Or have you often seen Susan these days? Have you often have you often seen Susan these days? Okay, some of you consider that is this one. You decide. So you just have to choose the correct answer. The key in this exercise, guys, is the grammar tense or the times expressions. So if you see there are only um, 10 sentences, they are pretty simple. You don't have to write. At the end, when you finish, you just have to click here, okay? And you will see if your answers are correct or not. Let me send the link, everybody. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm sending it here in Zoom. All right, I already sent it. And I'm sending it in the chat too. Open up the link, everybody. Remember, when you finish, you will see how many correct answers you have. During this practice, everybody, it's not necessary to send the screenshots. I mean, 
just do the exercise and we are going to see how your screenshot is. Um, give me a second. I'm trying to send the link, but I think I sent it on the wrong chat. Give me a second. There it is. Open up the exercise and answer, please. Go ahead. Complete the exercise. Read carefully, please. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Yes, teacher, I finish. Excellent. Uh, I have a mm -hmm. Go ahead. And my grandmother uh, to see us every Saturday uh, say there is comes, but I put have come. I don't understand. Okay, no worries. When everybody finish, we are going to see that one. And I will explain why. Did you finish everybody or not yet? Yes, finish. Yes, okay, everybody. All right, I'm going to give you two more minutes. Don't worry, we are going to see the reason why those answers. Pay attention in the little details, everyone.
All right, I can see some of you got a very good score. I like it. Nice. Was it easy or difficult, everybody? Easy. It was easy. Ah, very good. Okay, let's see. Some of your classmates have some doubts. Um, I think that it was number eight. Yes? Let's analyze the number eight. My grandmother ta -ta 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 -ta, to see us every Saturday. Look at this, guys. Let's see. If I'm talking about every Saturday, what is that? A routine. Could be a routine. Present continuous. And present continuous, or is this? In which, think about it. I told you that the secret is the time expressions. Can we say every Saturday in simple past? No, right? So mm, this sounds more like a routine. So can I say my grandmother have come to visit us every Saturday? Can I say have come? No. Why not? The secret, guys, is grandmother. Grandmother is singular or plural? Singular. Can I say have if I'm talking about my grandmother? No. No, right? So if we say has, maybe, but have, mm -mm. can I say come, my grandmother Come? No, no, no. In this case, is third person. What is the only person. options that I have? Come. Come. All right, because it's in third Simple. person. Is there another sentence that you may have doubts about it? Nine. Number nine, okay. My family ta -da 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 -da, to live where uh, to live here when I was a baby. If I say when I was a baby, think about the grammar tense. So, can I say my family comes to live here no. when I was a baby? No. Mm, no. Doesn't match because I have simple present, but I have a time expression in past. So no, right? Uh, my Present. family has come to live here. Be careful with the microphones. No. I'm listening to some background. Can I say my family no. have come? No. no. Why not? Because you... I was a baby with the sentence in past. All right. The time expression, if you see, this is simple past, guys. So this is the best option. And if you consider this is third person, can I say my family have or my family has? My family has. has. So we cannot use this option. So in this case, the correct answer is my family came to live here when I was a, child. a baby in this case. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Yeah. Now, Let's practice. We already practiced. If you want, guys, you can do the exercise again. This is a practice. It's not like an exam, okay? So relax. Now, we have uh, 10 minutes, so we are going to talk, all right? And the idea, guys, is to ask follow-up questions. Right now, you are going to have a conversation with your classmates. Listen, you can talk about whatever you want. But what I need is that you ask follow-up questions in simple present, simple past, or the present perfect. So for example, if you say, hey, what is your favorite food? Ah, oh, my favorite food is pasta. Perfect. Let's start asking follow-up question. Ah, when was the last time that you, da, 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 da. or have you ever eaten pasta in an Italian restaurant? Will you, I'm sorry, that is future. Um, did you eat pasta last week? So you can continue asking follow-up questions. 
Is it clear the activity? Yes. Yes, teacher. Remember, yes. it's a conversation. So then you can say, how about you? What's your favorite food? Ah, oh, my favorite food is this and this and this. And you can continue asking follow-up questions. For this activity, guys, we are going to be in pairs, okay? Because it's going to be a conversation, only two people. Um, if you are with a person and the person is not talking, I'm going to switch you to another team. Are you ready, everybody? Yes. Yes? Pretty good. Okay, please, everybody, enter to the groups. I have some people that they never enter, so let's try to practice. Let's go to work, everybody. Ask questions. Hey, hey, can you tell me what is your hobby? My hobby? Uh, well, I don't know. My my main hobby maybe is uh, I like watch movies and series. What kind of movie or series do you prefer? Uh, um, I prefer like uh, lawyers series or um, action movies of adventure or or drama. But uh, mm -hmm. one of the the series that I I like uh, for a long time uh, was uh, Sweets. It's about lawyers, a uh, corporative lawyers in the United States and how how can uh, how is it's about uh, how they resolve the problems of the corporative uh, in in the United States and you what is your favorite uh, or what is your hobbies or or you have a favorite series of movies Okay, my hobby is or are cooking and walking, and I love cook and because I can I I think I can this this stress this is lost my stress and yeah. when I cook any dishes I love a uh, spend time with me my own self. And my favorite dishes is turkey because on Christmas I cooked turkey in the oven. I prepare different sauces. Very fast. And when I don't know, I I only I ate. I ate my breakfast and I prepare to my class. <laughs> Do you yes. take a shower? <laughs> no, but later, yes. <laughs> yes, because I, I wake up very early, uh, very late. <laughs> I don't know. It is it, it bad for me. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I don't know. Do you, do you watch uh, a movie uh, today? For example, yeah. In mm. Korean, they watch a movie? No, today, no. I don't watch a, a movie because uh, I, I sleep. I just confused the verses right now. I sleep sleep during the morning okay 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 and, and you tell me uh, what 
do you do after after class? Well, first I take my I yeah, I will take my shower, <laughs> and then I I don't know I will yeah I will eat yes I will eat my lunch. And later I I do my my homework. I work in the platform and maybe late I play video game with my brother. I will play video game with my brother. That sounds good. <laughs> but in the afternoon, but late now around yes, around 12 uh, o'clock, I took, I take a shower. Okay. Have you been playing video games for to nine and a half a.m. and I wake up before 30 minutes the class? Oh, okay. You yeah. sleep all the time. Uh in the morning, but you you don't uh, how to to wake up to cook the the breakfast for your husband and your daughter. Yes, I have. Well, today I have uh, uh, woken up at five a.m. and I prepare my daughter and my husband breakfast. And when my husband left my daughter to school, and I I have. Is taken up. Taken an up. Uh, yes, taken an up. Oh, okay. And then you wake up when the the classes start. Yes, thirty <laughs> okay. minutes or twenty minutes before. Yes, it's a lot. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> and I prefer waiting, waiting to to walking. And you, you. What uh what did no what are you what are you no what uh, have you done before the class? Ah, in my routine. Well I yes. I woke up at six AM in the morning and I do I did some now, for example, I did uh, the. I. Yes. Okay. What What is your name? His name is David. David. Okay. Yes. It's a It's a boy. Okay. Interesting. Um, I can listen. Do you Do you have Mary? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, I have a I have another question. If you if you had opportunity to apply a new job, what would you like? Mm, I would like to work in a touristic place, like a a agent tourist agent. Okay. Maybe a, Yes. Coach? Because they are going... I'm sorry, did you have a question? <laughs> yes, coach. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say Guia Turistico? It's tour guide. Yes. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're very welcome. Did you ask a lot of questions? It's so difficult, coach. <laughs> Why? <laughs> ask the questions or answering the questions? Ask the question because <laughs> do, do you remember a uh, past sim uh, simple past uh, all all the all all topic in my mind is very difficult to to express but I try I try <laughs> all right I know but we are going to continue practicing okay so little by little but we don't have more time let's return to the main room okay thank you coach you're very welcome. Thank you, Gabriela. 
Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. All right, all right. Let's wait for everybody. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's go back, everyone. I was listening to very interesting conversations. How was the practice, guys? Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy? Yes. What, yes. what were you talking about? What was the topic in your conversation? Hobbies, okay. And you guys, what were you talking about? About family. Family, like, sounds good. Travels. Travels, Travel. sounds good. Yes. Did your classmate ask questions in different grammar tenses, like in present, in past, in present perfect? Yes, yes a yes. lot of questions. And did your classmate answer using correct verbs? Yes. 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 Did your classmate give details? Yes. <laughs> All right. Some of you are like eh, a little, right? A little bit. What is the most difficult thing? Ask or answer the questions? Ask. 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 <laughs> ask. Okay. That's interesting because most of you said that the most difficult thing is ask. Active listening, okay? If you want to ask questions, we need to pay attention to our classmates about what they are saying. Now, I'm going to share with you, everybody. Oh my gosh, we don't have more time. Uh, just two sentences, right? Uh, for example, I love cook. Can I say that? I love cook. I love, I love to cook. cook. Uh, uh -huh. love cooking. Correct. Cook. Separate the verbs, okay? I love to cook or I love cooking. Now look at these questions. Did you watch a movie? No, I don't. Is that correct? No, I didn't. I didn't. Ah, simple I didn't. Past. We need to answer with the same auxiliary. No, I didn't. Um, what have you done this morning? I went to the park. I had gone. Ah, questioning simple, uh, present perfect. Let's answer in present perfect. I've gone to the park. Okay, so active listening, everybody. We need to recognize the question. We need to identify what the grammar tense is. So we will be able to answer using the correct grammar tense. Got it? Yes? I know that is not easy, everybody, but it's not impossible. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Don't worry, we are going to continue practicing tomorrow. Remember tomorrow, I will give you the instructions for the last speaking evaluation, okay? Any questions before leaving everyone? No, teacher, thank you. Okay. You're very welcome. Go and work on the platform, please. You have to finish this week. Have a wonderful afternoon and see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.